Hi, we will have a look inside this uh, vintage, very vintage Burroughs C155 calculator I uh, received a few weeks ago. I made a video of it with a special uh, VFD tubes in it. But today we will have a look inside. As you can see, it is in a really, really nice condition. Working nice. And uh, here is the bottom side. It is uh, assembled using uh, ISO bolts, by the way. So there are just screws at the bottom to remove. Then I can lift the top. As you can see, yes, guys, we have gold ceramic clips. We have a body here with a Nixie tubes the, and we have the keyboard which is very nicely made with uh, magnets and uh, read relays, read uh, switches as you can see them there it is really really re reliable nicely uh, constructed so this is the power supply unit all uh, shielded in uh, one module with a little transformer and a regular uh, linear uh, rectifying some can transistor here so I will remove this part with, the, with this for you first it is uh, there are uh, plug-in connectors card edge connectors so you just need to pull on it very slowly and carefully but it will come out with no issues. Here we are. So, here are the VFDs. As you can see, we have a special shape of the uh, digits. Some uh, little modules here with a number of pins at the bottom. Must be the VFD controllers, obviously. Really, really weird. Uh, some kind of uh, integrated circuits, probably. There are numbers on them you cannot see, but it is written 6204. Here is the bottom of this PCB with... Uh, it looks like it is a handmade uh, tracks. Golden card edge here. And, guys, look at this. The back side of the uh, Nixes. The VFDs made by uh, ICDEN with a little logo here. They are Itron SP 12B 12A for this one and DG 12B for the other ones. This is the main use uh, sign. Lots of little leads at the bottom, as you can see. It is really, it will make a nice photo for my Flickr, this, surely enough. Then, the second PCB at the bottom here. It will, it must, no, I will not try to remove it because it seems quite uh, delicate. So we have uh, four... Uh, clips it seems it is Rockwell let me zoom it in for you then there we are yes there is a Rockwell logo on them you can see the zigzag pins so there are four different clips RD2256 here DC2266 AC2261 and uh, AU2271. Dead codes on them, guys, are 1970. Yes, guys, 1970. It is uh, some of the oldest clips I have. I have some dated with 1968 in an aircraft part, it seems, I believe, if I remember correctly. So there is another. Uh, a round uh, can PCB clips here. 
CG231 made by uh, Rockwell Lasso and uh, it actually ship here HD3103P so you can see the handmade uh, tracks one more time you can see the connector card edge connector and uh, here we have the power supply I believe I can open it quite easily if I remember correctly it is just a matter of two screws here is one Here is the other one, so I will not. Yes, we don't see a um, uh, lot of things because this uh, PCB is attached down. I do not know how. So we have some uh, pretty uh, crusty work here, by the way. Fuse, always good. Nice uh, strain relief on the input on the. Uh, AC cable and wire, nice main switch. And it is just a little transformer. Yes, it is a plastic body uh, transformer at the bottom here. A plastic case around it. Here are the pins of the transformer. Primary side here, obviously. Secondary here with. It must be. Some bridge rectifier around here. No, there is one of this one black module here also. Has the, the same uh, shape than this. And uh, we must have some uh, smoothing capacitors and stuff. So here we are for this calculator, guys. This is really a nice view. I love these clips. They are so beautiful. So, here is your, uh, your uh, computer background for you, like this, maybe, you can do something nice. Like this, yes, it is good. So, thanks for watching, bye bye.